Hello everyone, Richard Evans from New Tech here for a very special unboxing video of this, the NDI HX PTZ3 camera from New Tech. The world's very first camera to offer NDI HX3, which delivers better video with reduced latency using just a fraction of the bandwidth. Now it also has support for sophisticated audio devices with a professional XLR connection, one ethernet cable for audio, video, PTZ control, and tally, smooth motor-driven pan, tilt, and zoom operation so you can move between your different camera shots and presets looking really slick, and also native support for HD video formats up to 1080 60p. It's also compatible with NDI5, and it comes in either black or white, so that's pretty cool. All right, now it's Christmas today here. I have no idea what's gonna be in this box. We'll see what happens here. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go through the contents of the box, show you what all's going on in there, and then I'll go ahead and hook it up to the TriCaster Mini 4K and see how it works. So let's get to it. All right, so exciting. I have not gotten a chance to play around with this yet, so this is gonna be pretty fun. Okay. So, first thing we have inside the box, this is the mounting bracket for your PTZ camera. So if you need to mount it uh, on the roof, etc., this is a good way to do it. Uh, also, very important, your registration card. Hang on to that one, you're gonna need it. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Uh, this foam's in here good and snug, so it's safe for traveling, I like it. All right, oh, I got the white one, sweet. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, where do we start here? All right, oh, so first, we also have the screws for the mounting bracket. Put those over here. Uh, also, uh, a bunch of different power cables. So check this out. So what's awesome about this too is no matter where you are in the world, you have a power cable to hook up to your power supply. So yeah, you're, you're pretty much set <laughs> anywhere you want to here. So a couple different options uh, for the power supply and of course, the power supply itself. There we go. And the camera. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here. Yeah. So this is awesome. Very slick. Very small in comparison to some of the other ones we have. But check it out. I got the white one. That's awesome. Yay! I love it. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So I'll, I'll get to playing with this here in a second. But let's go ahead and put this aside and go through the rest of what's in the box. All right. Uh, also, the remote control for the camera, always handy to have, just in case you don't have it plugged into TriCaster or any other thing. And then this, this is awesome. This is the mini XLR connection for the back of the camera here. So uh, that way you can plug this into a microphone, you can plug it into uh, you know, anything that you're gonna be sending audio to the camera with. So uh, a mixing board, etc. that's pretty awesome. First camera from New Tech to have one of those on there, so. Very awesome. All right, and what else? Oh, got one more thing in the box here. Ah, some additional mounting brackets here. All right, let's put that to the side as well. All right, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this box so we can take a look at the camera and some of the features on it, okay? All right, so taking a look at the camera just on the front, this is our tally light that will illuminate uh, whenever we have that hooked up. But let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the unit, all the different hookups that we have for this. So right here, if you're using traditional uh, video equipment here, as far as like your PTZ control, we have an in and out uh, port for RS-232. Uh, we also have a line in with a, a eighth inch jack for different audio sources. Also a USB-C port for bringing in video over USB. Uh, and then right here, that is where we're gonna have the mini XLR connection. So you can plug this cable into it and then connect it to any other piece of equipment you have. Uh, also an HDMI out for this system. Uh, also a 3G SDI out. And right here, of course, the NDI HX port so that we can plug that into a PoE switch or into the back of the uh, TriCaster Mini 4K and get the video signal out of it or just plug it in uh, with some power as well over here on the right and you can get the uh, video and control coming out of your, uh, have your camera here uh, with just bringing the power in. So it's kind of up to you how you want to hook those up. All right, cool. So. Let's go ahead and clear all this out of the way and start setting some things up. So, ah, it's chaos. Okay, come back. <laughs> okay, got it. 
Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is I have an Ethernet cable here, and I'm going to hook that up to this camera into the back of the TriCaster Mini 4K, and we'll see how it operates. Cool. So, very simple. Let's take a look at the back here again. Just this one end of the cable into this. All right. And then we'll plug it into one of these NDI ports on the back of the Mini 4K. And then we'll wait for it to do its dance. Oh, yeah. I guess it's done. That's all stance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, nope, not done. There we go. Hey, looking pretty good, right? And let's take the lens cap off and check it out. Ta-da! With a nice blue ring around it. Very, very cool. All right. So now I have it plugged into this system. Now let's go ahead and move over to the TriCaster interface, and I'll show you how to bring that in. All right, so now we're in the TriCaster mini interface. Let's go ahead and bring in the video feed coming off of my camera into my production. All right, I have a blank session here. I'll go to input number one and my source drop down. Uh, these are all the different sources that are broadcasting over my network via NDI. So let's just find my camera. There it is, PTZ3. I haven't renamed it yet. Let's just use what we got here right now. So click channel one and boom. All right, check it out. Mm, looking pretty good. Cool, so uh, the image coming through right now is coming in via 1080-60, and that's a pretty good image, I would say. Yeah, I like it, that's very crisp. Uh, let me go ahead and move the, my uh, pan tilt zoom controls around here, just because I was very curious about the movement of this camera. So I'm spinning around my desk here. Yeah, that looks great. And the autofocus is good too. Right on. Yeah, I like it. Zoom in here. Extreme close up. Whoa. Okay, too close. Let's back up. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. So this is looking pretty awesome to me. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you on this camera. I'll go to the input tab. There is a device web page. If you click on this, it'll take you to the uh, the administrator side of this camera. So if you need to uh, want to rename it, etc., or change the orientation, do some white balancing, you can do all from within that web browser. So. This camera is looking pretty awesome uh, to me. Uh, the, again, we'll have this plugged directly into the back of the TriCaster Mini, which has PoE. So just one cable, and I get my video, audio tally, control, and power all coming off of that one cable. So this is pretty cool. All right, well, that was a pretty good unboxing video. What do you think? He agrees, too. Now the beauty of this camera is you don't need a TriCaster to use it. It's a great PTZ camera for use in any system. And it's also compatible with any NDI workflows. The NDI HX PTZ3 camera is available now. So find out more information about it by contacting your local reseller or visiting our website, newtech.com. Very cool and highly recommended. Thank you for watching.